it was a good display from the boys. Um, obviously, this is what you want to see at the end of the league um, because we started off with uh, scoring less goals, and now I'm seeing they are coming forth in terms of making sure that every chance we use, we capitalize, we, we utilize it because the more goals we score, the better for the striker to gain their confidence. Right, and a very nice performance there by your number seven. Tell us a bit about him. Uh, Puna is one of the key players from my under 17. So obviously you can see the skills, the talent that he has. But um, he can still work on, on some, area, uh, some area of improvement, but he's really someone to look for for the future. Right, Mami, and your team doing very well, top of the log under 17. So how do you feel about going into the knockout stages? Um, it's something to be in the leading top goals are like in terms of the log standing and something to be a performer for the knockout stage because at the end you want to be among the finalists. So I should say we're actually looking forward to it. The boy work hard to be in the knockout stage. So let's see what the knockout stage can bring to us. The soccer was impressive but the early mistakes were, you know, they weren't needed in my opinion, you know. I did uh, have a word with them about focus at the beginning. I guess it slipped a few heads but first half I was, you know, I'm impressed by the way they were keeping the ball. Second half, that one for me was poor, you know, conceding four goals in one half. It's not really the way we're trying to play, but I could see they, they, it was fatigue, maybe stamina. You, you could tell that, you know, they weren't holding the ball anymore, just kicking. So that's when I saw, you know. But also we changed the system in the second half, so I could I understood why it, it, the, the flurry of goals happened, because we changed to a back three, but that was also just to see the players' capabilities for next year. Yeah. Right, yeah, tell us about your season as a whole, not doing too well. Um, you're out of the knockout, but how do you feel about the season and going into next year then? Um, to be honest, as the first, my first season with Delta, um, I'm actually, with the performances, um, I'm impressed with the way they play, just not the way they manage the game. Um, from the player side, I'm very impressed from the talent I was able to to scout the whole year in just one year for an under-19 team next year. I'm mostly impressed with the amount of um, 16 and 15 year olds that are pushing to play in that team next year. So I can see that we're working into a direction where in a few years there will be a force to be reckoned with for sure. Great. And then it's also interesting, you know, you've got a namesake, uh, Benchik Congo, playing for the national cricket team. Exactly. So how do you feel about that and any message to him maybe? Yes, my message to him is maybe to watch out because I think, yeah, it's good that I have a namesake in the national team because I'm also a soccer player myself and I just came back recently from South Africa so I've actually also been looking for opportunities in the national team to play myself so I think we'll be seeing each other very soon in my opinion.